This is my first video on Shanghe Ling, Word of Honor's actual lines spoken. Hi, you're watching Avenue X, where a junkie on good storytelling shares her thoughts, knowledge, and occasional weird ideas on stories and how they're told. As I'm making this video, the drama has aired 15 episodes. So, if the later episodes of this drama contain more interesting, important, changed lines that they did in ADR, I will make further videos. That is my promise. As you may have noticed, most of the main characters are dubbed with voice actors, and they got quite a number of significant changes happening to past censorship. But there's nothing to stop people from lip reading it and find out what's actually spoken when they film the drama. So in this video, I will talk about the ones that have been widely spotted and then circulated on internet in China. So it's definitely not just due to the credit of me. It is mostly due to the credit of very, very observant netizens. And in this video, I will pick out the lines that got changed later in dubbing that are significant to the meaning and to the conversation of the characters. There are more smaller changes, but they are not really affecting the plot or the character development. The ones that I do point out are the really delicious ones. Let's do it chronologically. First, we have two lines happening in episode 3. I will put the time code on the screen so that you can go and watch the particular scene. Wen Keqing has a line commenting on Zhou Zishu saying, Definitely not with an ordinary character or quality. But actually what was spoken by the actor was Bi Shi Mei Ren must be a beauty. Literal translation would be beautiful person. And in this drama, you will see Wen Keqing multiple times reuse this word to describe Zhou Zishu. And mostly it got overdubbed with something like Fei Fan or Jue Fei Fan Pin. At the end of the episode, when they were at this hotel place and they ended up in the courtyard, Wen Keqing talked to Zhou Zishu and saying, I'm pretty sure when I take down this skin of yours, inside of it, there must be a hidden huge surprise. 里面一定藏这个好大好大的惊喜 But that's a dubbed line. The actual line spoken by the actor was 里面一定是一副罕见的美人胚子 Inside it must be a very rare, beautiful person. A 美人胚子 just another word for mei ren, but more specifically saying you're kind of naturally born with it. Because the word pei means the base of a chinaware, a ceramic, before it got through the fire. It's still in its clay stage, hasn't been fully processed, but all the necessary element is already there. Then let's move on to the next episode, episode 4. Around the middle of it, when they were by a lake and then just fought off this person with a pipa, Zhou Zishu returned the xiao to Wen Keqing. Wen Keqing said something. 只不过嘛, 阿旭, but the thing is, Xu. Your martial arts, your skills is so impeccable, but you don't have an ear for music. When I get a moment, I'll teach you. But what was actually spoken by Gong Jun at the time was, 只不过嘛, 阿旭, 你人长得俊, 有空我再教教你. So the first part is the same, 只不过嘛, which means, but the thing is, 阿旭, 你人长得俊, 阿旭, you are Good looking. Xiao But your playing of Xiao mm, is not very good. The last part is the same. When I get time, I'll teach you. I think this is done for the purpose of taking out that flirtatiousness and also Xiao blow actually in Chinese slang is the same meaning as the word blow in English slang. And you know, holding a pipe shaped thing and blowing. <clears throat> That's uh, as far as I can go for this video. You know what I mean. So I'm pretty sure they're trying to take that connotation out as well. Well, well, well. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Moving on to episode 6. A lot of lines were spoken that got changed, but everybody noticed that. When they were fighting off all those zombies, Wen Keqing was under the influence of that incense and he got back to his mind as a kid. And he jumped on the back of Zhou Zishu and said, Niao. Literally means mother, your shoulder blades are the most beautiful. But what was actually spoken by the actor at the time is 
紫苏被我紫苏的蝴蝶骨最美了。Yeah, that's very obvious. You can tell like the lip really doesn't sync up. Then when they got out of it and then got back on the lake again, it's like they don't have extra set. This is a very poor production.、Uh, same lake. Wen Keqing is trying to clean up Zhou Zishu's wound on the back, and they had this conversation. Wen Keqing said, "Who I become? What heroes? Who I will save? A bad person." Which means don't play hero in front of me. It wouldn't make you lose face if you let me help you. And Zhou Zishu shouts back with, "Cheng Ni Nai Nai's son," which <laughs> is a slang that's usually used in very northern part of China. Nai Nai's son literally means your grandmother's bear. Okay, it doesn't make sense because it's a slang. It actually doesn't mean grandmother's bear. It pretty much means like heck with it. You know what? Heck of a hero! What is that? What's actually spoken here was Wen Keqing said, "Heroes save beauty, just like that." Which is hero saving a beauty is just like this. You don't lose face, but you know 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 I'm afraid it's actually beauty saving the hero. Wen Keqing was saying he is the hero, and then Zhou Zishu is the beauty that got saved. Whereas Zhou Zishu is replying, "No, it's actually the other way around. I saved you." But the funny thing is, he said, "Pa bu shi mei ren jiu ying xiong." So he's kind of acknowledging that he is the beauty in the hero and beauty relationship. <laughs> the next day, they went back to check out the、uh, fighting marks in the bamboo forest. There's this most famous scene up to this point that got super overdubbed.、Uh, that, that just has some lines that definitely wouldn't pass censorship. So important scene, pay attention. Wen Keqing approaching Zhou Zishu from the back and saying, "I bet gold, you can buy anything you want. I'll spend a lot of money to buy that. Whatever you want, I'll give you." What was actually spoken by、uh, Wen Keqing at the moment was, "I bet gold." 重金求购，以身相许。以身相许 means giving your physical body to somebody. A common concept in ancient China, which is if somebody did you such a great favor that you literally give yourself to them, mostly happening to a woman. Marrying the man, kind of like returning the favor. So I become yours. I give my body to you. Pretty much calling marriage type of stuff. So basically, Wen Keqing said, "I'll give myself to you." Then their conversation moved to the point when Zhou Zishu questioned, "What was actually in your mind last night when you were under the influence of that?" Incense. What did you see? In the dubbed version, Wen Keqing said, "When I was little, I put a dead rat." On my mother's bed, and it was found out by her. And she chased me through three different streets, trying to beat me up. And when you look at Zhou Zishu's very shocked and kind of offended reaction, that doesn't make sense because what was actually spoken? 我和我的心上人，洞房花烛，共赴巫山，陶然忘忧。不亦乐乎 Me and my 心上人 the person on my heart, so the person I love. 洞房花烛 bridal chamber, the marriage night room. 花烛 the red candle, pretty much means、um, doing what you should be doing on the night of your wedding. 共赴巫山 going to the Wu Mountain together. Now here is a test for my long-term audiences. I've already explained this in my previous videos. Talking about poetry references in dramas, if you still remember, Wu Shan is a mountain that is around the Three Gorges region in China. And in China's mythology and also literature reference, it is a mountain where a goddess resides. Going to the Wu Mountain or Wu Mountains, Yun Yu Cloud and Ring is a euphemism for having sex. Me and the person I love. On our wedding night, doing uh uh uh, 陶然忘忧，不亦乐乎。陶然忘忧 means you are in a state of bliss and you forget all the worries. 不亦乐乎 also means it's so happy that that there's just no more happiness that can be compared to this. Talking about like pushing it to the limit. Episode eight, very funny. They were having this big day out, pretty much like dating on the market. Wen Keqing acting as a child. He tried to grab Zhou Zishu's hand, and Zhou Zishu don't touch me. In the dubbed version, Wen Keqing said, 大不了我以后供你驱策 which means no big deal. I'll let you order me around in the future. And Zhou Zishu replied, 那就请你圆润的滚圆点 Then why don't you just get lost? But it is not what's actually spoken、uh, when they filmed it. 大不了 It's no big deal. 
I'll sell the rest of my life to you. And Zhou Zishu's reply, instead of saying get lost, he actually said, 好啊，那就把你卖去青楼 Then I'll sell you to a brothel. And it's definitely something I、uh, cannot pass censorship. Then at the end of episode 11, when they managed to save Cheng Liu, and they were again at this like. By a river, kind of like bush or woods place. They sat down, and Wen Keqing said something about himself, which literally means going through a flower bush of ten thousand flowers and then picking one thousand of it. But what's actually spoken is 万花丛中过，只摘你一朵 which means going through the ten thousand flowers bush and only picking the flower that is. You. This is a very famous Chinese idiom again that got、uh, adapted. The original idiom is 万花丛中过，片叶不沾身 which means going through that flower bush and not even one piece of leaf gets stuck to your clothes. This idiom is used to describe people who basically sleeps around. <laughs> and never make any commitment. In the opening scene of episode twelve, Zhou Zishu and Wen Keqing are having that heart-to-heart -heart conversation again by the lake that they've used for a million times. Zhou Zishu said, "At this age of ours, which is pretty much close to thirty, it's very hard to lay our heart bare to each other. But I want to take the first step. I want to believe that you are the person I recognize." That's the version you will see in the drama, which doesn't quite make sense. Well, if you pay attention, they've changed one character. What was actually spoken by Zhou Zishu at the moment was, "You are the person I recognize." Instead of "recognize," means recognize. Shi also means recognize, so I recognize you. But "recognize" means confirmed. Or assured. When you say 我认定了某人 I 认定 somebody. That pretty much is like I don't have any other person. You are the only one. And it has no direct reference to romantic involvement of anything. It can be used at different occasions. Pretty much means you are the only person that I pick for whatever purpose. That in the context of our conversation. But here, you know, like when a guy comes up to another guy and saying, 你是我认定的人 Yeah, you get it. It pretty much means um, you're the only person that I uh. Mm. And that will make a lot of sense because later in the same episode, you'll see them sitting by the street and、uh, having that very、uh, let's enjoy the sunshine, that very sweet, sweet, sweet conversation that literally made my heart go.、Pfft. That's the moment I fell in love with this drama. They brought that up, and Wen Keqing said, "What is special about me that you think I am your 认定的人 And then Zhou Zishu replied, "Why?" And you watch their mouth; they actually used 认定 So it makes sense because earlier on. By the lake, they said 认定 and now they said 认定 Whereas、uh, in the dub version, it's 认识 literally means just somebody you know, which does not make sense for the context and for for the plot, and made a lot of people confused. Then close to the end of this episode, Gu Xiang is in Yueyang Pai, and she's walking in the courtyard and she's talking to herself and saying, "What is happening to my master?" Ever since he ran into Zhou Zishu, he doesn't even care about what he needs to do. And in the dubbed version, you will hear her saying, "Zhou Zishu, 莫不是给他下了药吧 Which means, could it be that Zhou Zishu drugged him, Wen Keqing,、uh, her master, so that he's acting so out of his character? But the actual line spoken by the actress, 那姓周的，莫不是个狐狸精吧 <laughs> That guy with the surname Zhou, could it be? That he is a fox demon. It's the Asian tradition of believing fox can turn into very beautiful woman to lure men and then eat up their life essence and that type of thing. So she is definitely correct in her <laughs> assessment of the relationship. Clearly, Wen Keqing is totally head over heels. This production crew is very ambitious. They really write very very direct stuff, and they filmed it. And they know later we can just use dubbing magic to um. To deal with that, but I can tell they're really intentionally doing it because for all those lines that got caught by people, they all give you the shots of the mouth clearly <laughs> of the actor speaking, and people who are good at lip reading can totally、uh, decipher what's actually spoken. And most of those very famous lines have already been dubbed in China by、uh, people who have good voices who know how to do. CB work and the very sad thing for me is I really want to dub over those scenes when I noticed them. I was like, oh my god, the actual line spoken is so. <sighs> But I'm a woman. There's no way that I can fake my voice. 
as an adult man. It's just physically impossible and it makes me very sad. That will conclude my first video on what's actually spoken in the drama Word of Honor where all the secret sugars are hidden. If I collect more and it's worth talking about that in a collective video, I'll do that again. And I also have plans to make further videos about all the poetry references that comes up in this drama, which is a lot that they've used and quite a few of them are totally used for the purpose of flirting. I just love this script writer. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.